In addition to extra pre-K funding, we will likely see some tax cuts this year. But how has been the burning question on the minds of lawmakers. The Senate wants to cut property tax rates, saving an average Texas family about $200 per year. But there's a holdup. KXN's Phil Prazen shows us the House's plan to cut taxes too, but in a different way. How many lawmakers can you fit in a room? Too many to count when you're talking tax cuts in Texas. We should be cutting taxes that provide the greatest return back to our economy and our Texas taxpayer. Almost all transactions in Texas get taxed 6.25 percent. Food, clothes, you name it. The representative in charge of tax cuts, Dennis Bonin, wants that down under 6 percent. Something that has never been done since the sales tax was enacted more than 50 years ago. That can save an average family more than $170. But while Republicans filtered out, Democrats who weren't let in on the plan grabbed the mic. So they are big items that have yet to be fully funded. They say we shouldn't jump to cutting taxes when traffic congestion is horrible and state buildings are literally falling apart. Before you can give away, you first must pay your bills. But comparing the two rooms, it would seem the votes are in the Texas House for sales tax cuts. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Our two chambers are far apart on tax cuts. The man atop the Senate, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, says the House is out of step with most Texans. He wants property tax cuts, not sales tax cuts.